welcome to my YouTube channel once again this is Tech PBA so today we're going to learn about how to enable the hibernate option in Windows 10 and Windows 11 I am actually using a Windows 11 PC or laptop to illustrate this uh, tutorial so for instance if you click on the start button and you clicked on the power icon in Windows 7 uh, the hibernate option would have been listed amongst the shutdown and then the restart options but in, in Windows 10 and Windows 11 it's been hidden so you have to if you need that option that hibernate option you have to go into the settings and enable it so this is how what we are going to look at in this tutorial I will also show you how an easy way of hibernating your PC a Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC using a simple command through the run run dialog box so let's begin with it so first and foremost on a Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC to hibernate to enable the hibernate option you need to first of all uh, open control panel i'll do a quick search for control panel now when it pops up i'll click on it so in the control panel window um, you want to change the view to either large icons or small icons. I like to do small icons. So with the view changed to the small icons, the next thing we're going to do is to click on the power options. So when you click on the power options, you get these sets of settings. So on the left hand side, We'll click on choose what the power buttons do. Click on that. So as you can see, we have the turn on fast startup, we have the sleep option, we have the lock option, and you see here that the hibernate option is not checked and they are all grayed out so what we're going to do to enable them is to click on change settings that are currently unavailable and then immediately we click that the options have been enabled and then we can check the hibernate option so after checking the hibernate options the next thing you want to do is to save changes so we click on save changes save the changes that we've made now let's have a look at it so we'll click on the start button again and then we'll go to the power icon and click on it and there you have your hibernate option so with the hibernate option it's it's just like the sleep option but in this case it it, 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 it uses less power so if you don't have the privilege of charging your laptop you don't have the opportunity of charging your laptop you can use this opportunity which will put the computer to sleep but then it will use less minimal power and so by the, the next time you, you you start your computer again everything that you were doing previously will be there it will show there or it will give you the same stuff the same windows everything that you were using or you were doing before so that's the hibernate option so when I click on this right now it should hibernate my computer but that's not what we are going to do so that is the way to or how to enable the hibernate option in Windows 10 and Windows 11 so on Windows 10 as well when you click on the start button will also show there so the next thing we're going
going to learn from, the next thing we're going to do um, is to run a very simple command in the run dialog box, which is the hibernate command. So what we're going to do is to press Windows key and then R. We'll press the Windows key and R. The command we are going to type is um, what I've already typed in there because I've been using it. It's already remembered it. So the command is shut down space forward slash h h for hibernate so the command once again is shut down space forward slash h and if I click on this right now my computer will be hibernated or this computer will be hibernated so yes guys um, I'm not going to click on the hibernate option because so thank you guys for watching please do want to subscribe to my channel take pba and then i'll see you in another video thank you